We're going three, two, one, up, vamos. Control, six attempts, good job. Come on, Lisa. Come on. But you are too low, go higher. Remember. Good job. Come on. Good job. Since the coronavirus hit hard in March, the whole schedule was cancelled and or postponed. But for the moment, there's some light at the end of the tunnel as the athletes are out of hibernation and raring to go. Peters, Lisa Brooks. So they are advanced to the final straight away. Day one was a good kickstart to the competition. Ermin and Lisa managed to win the Heat K2 500, qualifying straight for the A final. Very good performance. Arthur won the K1000 semi final, qualifying straight for Saturday A final.
To complete the first competition day, Bram and Artur won the very difficult Heat K2000 meters, achieving the straight qualification for the A final. It was an impressive performance. Purely a result of how excited and motivated they were to compete. They were among very strong competitors, and our K2 is still fairly new. They got through the finish line, consuming the very last bit of energy left in their bodies. <laughs> so guys, what's the perspective for tomorrow final? Better so Belgium. So the K1 men's 1000 meter final. Less than 12 months to go for the Olympic Games. Hopefully, be held in Tokyo. It's tough at these top class meets, but it's Fernando Pimenta.
moving on swiftly. It's the women's K2 500 meter final. Ready to get underway and off we go. In lane five, Hermian Petters, Liz Rook. even at the moment. Coming in, the Belgians now hitting back. Peters and Brook pushing the Russians hard. And they look like they could have the momentum going to the line. It's Russia against Belgium. And the Belgians have stolen a march. And a phenomenal finish from the Belgian pairing of Peters and Roy. Russians looked in a very strong position. Yet the Belgians who came through to win by half a boat length. Ooh, Here are the Belgian winners. Yeah, the start is always the weakest point, so we know that we have to do it in the end. And we are completely dead, but in one way or another, we always manage to keep on going, <laughs> to go even faster, so it's really nice. And you made it, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Beast! Woo! 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 Super race! Beautiful! Beautiful! I also was not going to make it. That's not true. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. morning ceremony for K2 women 500 meters. Gold medalist, Hermia Peters, Lisa Brooks, representing Belgium. Yay! Analysis of the final. You mean? In English? The, yeah, well, or in Netherlands. It doesn't matter. The, the, the strongest point in the race. Why it was so good? What happened? Why was running so well the boat? Please shout. Why was running so good? I think we were focused on uh, what we had to do. And uh, we were focusing on the first part. Which was the weak spot. Okay. Um, and then and we just kept going until the Any problem in the reaction? No, it was good. No, it was in, in near to our best level? Almost. Okay. Try to make a comparison, I mean, between this final and last year World Championships final. <laughs> no, 
I think we lack some uh, explosivity in the first part, but I think the second part is the same equal. Mm -hmm. But it's it's nice to catch all of them. So yeah. Maar als je één slaapzak op de grond en dan één slaapzak over je. What's, what's happening there? It's, um, it's a wild animal. What is? It's Next up, K1 500 meter women's final, Belgian pair Liz Broek and Hermine Peters, who together won the K2 500 meters now, facing off. as they come towards the finish. Over on the far side, Lisa Brook with a very strong finish. Anyone's goal to be taken. Photo finish here. And it's a Belgian 3-4, but only space for Hermian. Petters on the podium just ahead of her Belgian teammate. Ladies and gentlemen, medal awarding ceremony for K1 women 500 meters. Bronze medalist at the 2020 ICF Canoe Sprint World Cup, Hermia Peters, representing Belgium. Pairing in lane four of Ram, Sickens, and Arthur Peters. Still anyone's race. They're really pushing now. to the line. It's going to be a close run thing, but it looks like France are going to come through. And it's gold for Uber and Kelly. Uh, quite in front. And then in the middle, you with Paco and Peña and Albert and Roy. Closer to, the, to Roy and Albert. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Room, but then in the end. Yeah.
we go back home with two medals and some other good performances in competition. I'm very proud of my team. They were competing in a very high level in this World Cup. And especially I'm proud of them because they were able to manage very well the difficult moments in the pandemic with some up and downs, but with a very good continuity and motivation level during this period. Just I hope that after the deserved resting, they come back with the same level of motivation to try to achieve our goals, our very important goals in the next season, in the qualification, in the continental qualification, and in the Olympic Games. Hello! Hello! <laughs> this is gonna be for the history of this regatta. <laughs> the history of this regatta. Food! <laughs>